Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our demonstration teacher for today, a round of applause to Caroline Sefra Chavez. Hello there everyone, teacher Caroline Chavez here. I am your teacher for today. To put you in the mood right now, let us sing a song. Okay, sing with me. Very good singing. Keep it up. Before we start our lesson, let us see if you can still remember what we had last time. Choose the correct meaning of the underlined word. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided. And the word is couple. Here are the meanings of couple. A. More than one, but indefinitely small in number. B. A grouping of two persons as a married or engaged pair. C. Expressions joined or connected for combined effect. Okay, now you're going to answer. Let us have the first one. Today, I have a couple of books to read and return to the library. What's the meaning of couple? Yes, it's letter A. More than one but indefinitely small in number. How about the second sentence? The oldest couple in our neighborhood still dances the rumba and tango. What's the answer? Very good, it's letter B. A grouping of two persons as a married or engaged pair. How about the last sentence? I delivered my speech with expressions and emphasis coupled with confidence. What's the meaning of coupled here? Very nice. It's letter C. Expression, joint, or connected for combined effect. Very nice. You did it right. Give clap to yourselves. And now... We have here a word. It's dictionary. Do you know what is dictionary? Dictionary, sometimes known as a word book, is a collection of words in one or more specific languages, often al arranged alphabetically or by radical and stroke for ideographic languages, which may include information on definitions, usage, etymologies, phonetics, pronunciations, translation, etc., or a book of words. I have here something for you. Do you know what is this? Right, it's a huge boat. It has something to do with our lesson for today. Okay, now you will further investigate the meaning of words. Read the sentences, note the underlined words. Okay, number one. 
A huge ship can withstand the whip of gales in the ocean. What's the underlined word? Very good. Gales. How about in number two? A gale I have experienced so far as a child of 10 came suddenly and claimed the life of my dear dog. What's the underlined word? Yes, it's gale again. What is the meaning of gale? The word gale in the dictionary means a strong wind. This is denotative meaning. In the context of the second sentence, gale refers to a fear or hurt and emotion suggested by the whip of the gale or strong wind. Hence, negative connotative meaning of the word gale. Here are another sentences. Number one, my mother takes good care of her ornamental plants. She waters them every day. What is the underlined word? Yes, let us have the second sentence. Mother waters her ornamental plants with love and care. She checks on them every day. So the underlined word is waters. What does water mean in the first sentence? How about in the second sentence? In the first sentence, mother is literally giving water to the plants every day. In the second sentence, mother is not literally giving water to the plants every day, but she's giving them all her love and care to her plants every day. So what is the meaning of denotation? Denotation or denotative meaning of a word refers to the literal meaning or dictionary meaning of a word. Example, Grace has lovely roses in her garden. In this sentence, roses means literally flowers. How about connotation? What is the meaning of connotation? Connotation or the connotative meaning of a word refers to the emotional suggestion or other related meaning attached to the word. It may be positive, pleasant, or negative, unpleasant. For example, her three daughters are her life's roses. What's the meaning of roses here? Roses means that they are her happiness. We have here another set of examples. Read the given words and their meanings and use them in the sentences later. Okay, our word is seed. The denotative meaning of seed is fertilized, mature ovule of a flowering plant. And then I know you know this one. How about the connotative meaning of seed? It means childhood. Innocence. Let us have the second word, fruit. The denotative meaning of fruit is product of the plant growth. How about the connotative meaning? It is abundance, earthly pleasure, overindulgence, and temptation. How about the third word, forest? The denotative meaning of forest is, it is a large tract of land covered with trees and underbrush. And the connotative meaning of forest is deep mystery. Did you understand? I hope so. This time, let us have activity number one. Identify the underlined word in a given sentence in science if it is connotation or denotation. Let us have number one. Be a role model to your younger sibling and try to plant them the value of patience. What is plant here? Very good. It is connotation. Number two. Don't be a tiger. Everyone is afraid of you. The underlined word is tiger. What is tiger? Yes, it's connotation. Number three. 
The master turned into ice as he watched the python coil around his dog's body. What's the underlined word? Yes, it's ice. And what is ice? It, is it connotation or denotation? Very good. It's connotation. Number four. Rain usually falls unceasingly during the months of July, August, and September. What's the underlined word? Yes, it's rain. And what is rain? Very good. It's denotation. How about in number five? Scientists arrange these species in the plant kingdom in order from simplest to the most complex. What's the underlined word? Very good. It's plant kingdom. And plant kingdom is denotation. Okay, let us give very good clap to ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Let us have the second activity. Study the sentence pair. Put check in the box if the italicized word suggests denotative meaning and put X if it has connotative meaning. Let us have the first sentences. A mahogany tree stands behind our house. The word is mahogany. What is mahogany here? Is it check or X? Very good. It's check because it has denotative meaning. How about the second one? Father is a mahogany tree, strong and resilient. Is it check or X? Very good. It's X because it has connotative meaning. Let us have number two sentences. Keep that fire of unity burning in our hearts. The word is fire. Is it check or X? Very good. It is X because it has connotative meaning. A fire of unknown cause denuded the village forest. What is fire here? Is it check or X? Nice, it's check because it has denotative meaning. Now, let us go to number three sentences. A strong typhoon caused a short-lived surge in our community. And the word here is typhoon. Is it check or X? Very good. Your answer is check because it has denotative meaning. How about this one? We can survive any typhoon of challenges in life by being strong and positive. Is it X or check? That's right. It is X because it has connotative meaning. We come now to number four sentences. Plants cannot manufacture their own food without sunlight or sunshine. And the word here is Sunshine. Is it check or X? Okay, very good. It is check because it has denotative meaning. How about here? Good friends are sunshine that makes me happy when I am sad. Is it check or X? Right, it is X because it has connotative meaning. And for the last one, let us go to number five sentences. Be careful of snake members in our group because they can betray us. And the word here is snake. Is it check or X? Wow, it is X because it has connotative meaning. How about in the last sentence? That forest used to be snake infested. Is, is it check or X? Very nice. It is check because it has denotative meaning. You are excellent. Let us apply now what you have just learned. Write a short and sweet note with sentences using words with connotative meaning for the 
person you like or love most, particularly your family members or friends. I am giving you three minutes to do it. Our timer says, your time is up. You just wait for my further instructions. To sum up what you've learned today, I want to know from you, what is connotation? Anyone? Right! Connotation, or the connotative meaning of a word, refers to the emotional suggestion or other related meaning attached to the word. It may be positive, pleasant, or negative, unpleasant. How about denotation? Anyone? Right! Denotation or denotative meaning of a word refers to the literal meaning or dictionary meaning of the word. You're very, very good! Let us assess how well you understand our lesson. Identify the underlined word if it is connotation or denotation. Number one, scientists arrange the species in the plant kingdom in order from simplest to the most complex. What's the underlined word? Good, plant kingdom. Number two, the teacher's kingdom included 12 smart kids in a truly colorful room. The underlined word is teacher's kingdom. Number three, as grand Father approaches old age, the twilight of his life begins. The underlined word is twilight. Number four, at dawn, the beauty of nature starts to unfold. The underlined word is at dawn. Number five, her first piano performance served as the dawn of her career. So the underlined word here is done. Are you done? Now, let us check your answers. Number one. Denotation. Number two. Connotation. Number three. Connotation. Number four, denotation. And number five, connotation. Okay, who, who's got a perfect score of five? Wonderful! You did well today! And for your assignment, write Three sentences with denotative meaning and two with connotative meaning. Congratulations! You did it! Be safe! See you next time! Bye-bye!